part of our service where we are reminded of what Jesus did for us over 2,000 years ago dying on Calvary now every time you hold that little cup in your hand you must know this is dynamite it's power don't take it lightly it's power you may just take that morsel of bread and put it in your mouth but you are eating into life Christ's life his body he says no plague shall come nigh thy dwelling no pestilences if you eat or drink any deadly thing, it will not harm you. Why? Because of this. Because of the blood and the body of Jesus. I always count it a privilege. It's an honor. I don't take it lightly. When I'm called to speak, it's a fearful thing. Because preachers, leaders, teachers will be tried even more yes absolutely. even more because of what we teach god's people yes. we cannot waver mm. we cannot do something that is wrong and teach something that is wrong because we will be accountable and today i want to speak about jesus it's my first time i'm preaching here so i want to talk to you about jesus because yes. jesus is the reason why we are all yes. here some of us that are new in the faith or even if we have been reading our bibles but we've not been understanding what we are reading i want you today to understand certain things that are in the bible as much as we're reading the bible there's certain things that will jump out of this word this word of god this the sovereign word of god that will change your life and it won't change your life just for now it will change your life forever because God can do miraculous things by just reading the Word of God. Whether you like it or not, if you call yourself a Christian and you've been a Christian for all your life, you're going to have to read this book. There is burdens, yes. There is problems, there's trials, there's tribulations. But this book is going to help you get through those trials and come out victorious. And let me tell you, I'm an example of it. If God can do it for me, He can do it for you. We need to be very careful not to add anything to the yoke of our rabbi. How will the world know we are followers of Jesus if we keep changing His yoke? It's the grace of God in our lives that can change situations around. I cannot hold a grudge against another person and expect God to be working in my life. I cannot think bad about another person and expect God to change me, use me, bless me abundantly when I am not being used of God. You are our Rabbi Father. We don't look at any man, we don't look at a person, but we look to you, Father, as our Rabbi, Lord Jesus. Thank you for speaking, Lord Jesus. We ask all in Jesus.